When I'd just lost Coco, I could only sit in the sunroom, depressed. Why? Why did you have to leave me? To a meteora, of all things. Good morning, Chloe. <gasps> Am I dreaming? Oh, you aren't dreaming. It's morning. People wake up in the morning. Just look under your eyes. You've barely been sleeping, haven't you? I can't sleep. How could I? All I have are awful nightmares. That's no good. You need to sleep at night. Lack of sleep breaks people, you know? Shall I sing you a lullaby? I'll pass. If you're alive, that's all I need. So, those are Dahlias. My, they are truly beautiful up close like this. What a lovely, lovely flower. You can't get this just from analyzing info. Hmm, this is the value of the real living thing. This is strange. Something's odd here. Uh huh. She seems a lot like Coco, but this person is. Who are you? You're not Coco. Coco wouldn't talk like that. She wouldn't smile like that. You fake. Oh. Show yourself. My name is oh, Noah, Jesus Christ. an arc modeled <laughs> off of Coco Coconoe. I don't care who you are. Why? Why would you pretend to be Coco like that? You, you don't understand. I wasn't trying to. Shut up, you pretender. Don't come in here again. Ah, that's what happened, actually. Then, okay. Noah wasn't able okay. to come into the sunroom. Got it. I got an official response from the Kokonoe counselors today. They claim they've never asked for the creation of Ark Noah. So, Noah, an Ark modeled after Coco, made by Professor Julie, at the request of the Kokonoe family, grieving after losing their daughter. If they're telling the truth, this means this history is completely artificial. I'd always thought it was a bit strange. Hmm. Because if they just wanted an Ark like their daughter, she didn't need to be so advanced. Then... Why? Why was Noah made to be so similar to Coco? Maybe it was because looking like Coco was convenient for whatever reason? Noah's emulation models for gaining human thought were you and Coco, right? If she looks just like Coco, she'd have an easier time gaining information from her. And you, being her best friend. But the start makes no sense. Why are Coco and I her emulation targets? I'm a designed human. And Coco is blind and can't walk. We're the minority in this town. Why go out of your way to emulate us? Good question. Why were you two chosen as her models? Hey, Noah keeps talking about emulating and stuff, but was the old Noah trying to copy Chloe and Coco? Like, Noah was Noah. Deny, I think? Actually, when I look back and think about it, Noah was probably trying to take after Coco. She liked Dahlia's and wanted to go into the sunroom, just like Coco. Besides, the first thing she ate after gaining taste was a virtual strawberry. <laughs> You're right. Coco's favorite. The same with singing, too. The way Noah would love to sing and perform in the streets was probably her mimicking how Coco would sing in front of people, too. I feel like the way she called out to fans was a bit like Coco did, too. Hey, you know, it was around here that Coco had her concert, right? Hmm. And on top of that, Noah was control support for Altomachia, probably to learn Chloe's thinking from right next to her. Hey, wait a second. Noah wasn't that calculating. Yeah, I can't imagine Noah would be plotting right next to me. <laughs> I mean, she had Patroclus under her, so, you know. She did her absolute best to support me in the Machia. And what's more, she tried to kill Anima to protect me with her own hands. Yeah, you're right. I don't think the old Noah was plotting when she was at your side. She probably got close to you at first because she was following her programming. But I have a feeling that as time passed, she really started to feel for you. That's who Noah was. And that's why everyone is worried. Yeah, just look at Sphere. 
It's filled with people worrying about Noah. Everyone wants to hear Noah sing. And she really was all about singing. Let's have Noah sing. Just like the old Noah. If she does. I don't think it's gonna happen. Cannot comply. There is no reason for this unit to sing before a crowd. That was quick. Come on. Don't be like that. No reason to be all embarrassed. This unit has no sense of embarrassment. Then come on. Sing. Everyone's waiting for your return. Cannot comply. The act of providing the singing the crowd seeks runs the risk of creating a contradiction with this unit's functions and role. Contradiction? This unit is an arc made to draw close to people. In this unit's case, that means to treat a designated subject specially. A pop star, however, must love all equally in turn. Universal love and love of an individual cannot be conducted at the same time. Currently, this unit exists for you and you only, Chloe. Hey, come on. Why won't you sing? What if I sang with you? Still no? There is not even a 0.00001% probability that this unit would sing with you. Why not? Indeed. Strangely, speaking with you depletes this unit of her will to explain. <laughs> this unit no longer wishes to sing. You didn't from the start. Now this is a familiar scene. A familiar scene? Yeah. Having all four of us here talking about singing, it makes me think back to two years ago. Yeah. I see what you mean. This is where we became friends, too. Yeah. Chloe didn't even look us in the eyes at first, though. Well, you guys just barged into the sunroom. For what purpose did you gather in the sunroom? Well, it was about two years and a bit ago. Coco suddenly said she wanted to have a concert in town. She must have thought prep would be too hard for me alone. So she called Alba, too. My parents knew Coco's. So she probably felt comfortable asking me for help. And Yamato just tagged along then? I didn't tag along. Alba asked, so I came to help. Well, I did kinda cause a lot of trouble when I showed up. Coco wasn't angry at all, though. It's fine, Yamato. You came to help. And I really appreciate it. It was so fun. Those were probably the most fun times of my life. Coco's voice was so beautiful. I wish I could hear her again. Coco's gone. And then we lost Noah. Why do we have to lose person after person? We just wanted to be together. Why? Why can't even a simple wish like that? The amount of moisture in your eyeballs is rising. It appears to be shedding of tears, crying, Evidence of abundant emotions. One proof of humanity. Could you teach this unit of the process of thoughts and emotions that led you to crying? Come off it. Don't talk that way to someone who's crying. Does that mean this is against civilized manners? It's more... empathy. An expression of affection. Noted and learned. This unit apologizes for her rudeness, Alba. No. It's... fine. Besides... I'm the one who's rude here. You just lost your memories. And here I am, remembering who you were and crying. This unit surmises that her previous personality was very important to all of you. It is natural to grieve and feel deep sadness. You really are kind, Noah. A smile. <gasps> <gasps> Noah? Huh? Oh, it's nothing. Oh, right, Noah! Alba stopped crying, so how about a song to cheer us up? Unable to comply. No dice, huh? How strange. Everyone strongly desires that this unit sing. In this unit's sphere, too. A constant stream of messages requesting this unit's singing is pouring in. Sphere? Wait, you still have your sphere. Which means all of Noah's old posts should still be around. We have to gather them up and save them before the professor deletes them. They're all about me. Sure are. Noah's posts were always about you. My buddy doesn't even try to build affection points with the crowd. So as a master of electronic warfare, I've got to have her back. No one doesn't hurt when people swipe at them. And you want as many allies as you can get. That's how Noah would put it. Usually jokingly. So, wait. The reason a designed human and soldier like me wasn't criticized and hated was because Noah kept posting? 
Why didn't I know this? I just... I never noticed how loyal she was. Huh? In every darkest night huh. Say come and close your eyes It'll be alright I'll be here, I'll be here When you need me the most What's gotten into you? You put up such a fight over singing, too. Wait. Noah, do you have your memories back? No. This unit has no logs of her former self. Yet, it is strange. The moment this unit saw your tears, she sang before thinking. A song for tears. If that is an action that is against etiquette or affection, then this unit apologizes. There's nothing to apologize for. Just sing when you want to. That's your sensibility. No, that's your kindness. I feel like this is the first time I've really listened to you sing, Noah. When this unit sings, Chloe... Hello, Chloe. How's that moronic arc? <laughs> Professor. Seem more useful than the last, Noah? Not that I won't work her to the bone either way. The other remnant of Coco, Anima, it's fixed. What way? Now, come on over. Time to start experiments again. Uh, I know what to expect. <laughs> oh, goddess. Please give me a wife as beautiful as the doll I have crafted. The doll maker Pygmalion made his wish at the altar of Aphrodite, goddess of beauty. Aphrodite decided to grant Pygmalion's wish as a reward for his days of faith. Pygmalion, you can love only a doll. What need have you to love a human? Should you vow to love a doll for the rest of your days, I shall breathe life into your most dear one, Galathia. Pygmalion hurried back home to see Galathia. He knew her as silent and unmoving, yet her skin now breathed with life. Pygmalion immediately asked for her hand in marriage. Oh, doll made flesh, I vow to love and treasure you for the rest of my life, bound in matrimony. They bore children and lived happily ever after. Happily ever after. For once, Thank a happy you ending. For such a wonderful reading, Chloe. So, what do you think of the story? I saw myself in Galathia, the doll made flesh. As Galathia, not Pygmalion? I believe it is because I felt our situation similar. I was created as a designed human. And I did not consider myself a human until I met you, Miss Coco. I was a machine with a hint of an ego. Closer to a doll, really. However, spending time with you has given me independence, thoughts, and words. Now I can share my impressions as I am now, from inhuman to human. I think I saw myself in that process. You have it backwards, Chloe. You're the one who changed me. I do not exaggerate when I say that you, Chloe, raised me into the Coco I am today. If anyone is being raised here, it is me. I have learned countless things from you, Miss Coco. It may look like that from the outside, but I really am the one learning here. I have to wonder if people only truly gain selves when they influence someone. We raise each other, letting each other bloom into beautiful flowers. Thank you for coming to me, Chloe. Thanks to you, I was able to become Coco. I wish I could share this joy with more. Huh? Welcome! Welcome, Chloe! And you brought the weight of Electricity Arc's husk! What do you mean, husk? You're the one who deleted her log! Ooh, spicy. No need to get mad, right? I simply deleted a buggy personality. That's all. So, Noah, how does it feel to lose your whole log? Mm. I see. You're less chatty then. Glad to see the shock treatment really pulled through. Now then, to commemorate your rebirth, I'll give you a very important mission. What are you going to make Noah do? Anima's wounds have clearly healed up, so I wanted it to have a little meeting with Noah. I'm looking forward to the chemical reaction that two Coco likes will bring. Why, you! 
Chloe, this unit does not mind. Don't just let her order you into danger! It's a Meteora! Do you have any idea how... No matter how fearsome the Meteora may be, it can deal no physical harm to an arc like this unit. Besides, there is a high chance that this rare experience will present valuable learning. I love a nice obedient arc! Look at how smooth things are going. Now then, off to Anima's monitoring room. Sudden change of pace. A humanoid meteora with a similar appearance to Coco. Unit name, Anima. You ate this unit's original self, which means that you may aid in this unit's goal to emulate Coco. Perhaps there is much this unit can learn from. Yeah! <laughs> Such a fierce rage. Difficulty can be expected in conversation. <laughs> no reason can be detected. This unit must deduct the chances of Coco's ego remaining within you is low. <laughs> Noah! Wow. Anima is reacting even more violently than usual. Even after it was so recently sick. It must have lost itself in anger after having those Argos dropped on it. Pretty nice show, huh, Chloe? I'm gonna question. Julie, Noah's nothing but a tool to you, is she? <gasps> what are you going on about? Out of nowhere. You should know me well, Chloe. Yeah, really well. You treated me the exact same way. As far back as I remember, you put me through painful training, like some experiment. No matter how much pain I was in, you would never let me rest. Oh, a little too late to complain, don't you think? And who cares? Your design. Any wounds you take will heal up right away. There are no scars on my body, but my mind is a different story. I can't let Noah go through the same. Listen, you damned Meteora. Don't lay a finger on Noah! The inhibitor. Damn it, I forgot to remove your privileges. It's taken too much damage. I can't continue the analysis. Just when I thought that arc was out of my hair. What are you doing, you designed? All of you, keep biting the head. That feeds you. Intolerable, unforgivable, you're through. <sighs> Looks like I didn't put the leash on tight enough. Ah! Ah! Chloe, why did you interfere with the experiment? This unit could not have been harmed. Please, seize your punishment of Chloe, Professor Julie. If you must deal out punishment, this unit will... Ugh. Didn't I tell you to quit your gross pretend friendship? Hmm. Anima and Noah's compatibility is under zero. Damn it! Final product. No, can't expect quality when it's complete. You have to force. Irrational with an explosive display of emotion. So that is what you are like. I have learned another thing about you, Chloe. Chloe, is your damage healed up? Yeah. I'm fine. More importantly, Noah, stop standing out so much. Everyone's worried about you. You'll start a riot. This unit has jamming textures on. The townspeople are unable to visually detect her. But enough about this unit, Chloe. You ventured a very risky, reckless action. This unit has been attempting to trace the thoughts that led you to that conclusion. But this unit cannot understand its logical construction. It is simply too irrational. Rational or not, my hands were moving before I could think. Impulsiveness, would you say? This unit strongly recommends improving that, because a human giving her life for a doll is a reversal of priorities. A doll? Come to think of it, the old Noah called herself that too. What exactly do you mean by doll? The files in this unit's code uses a variety of doll names. A doll is that which draws close to people. Treasured, mistreated, manipulated, and cast away in the end. That process lets people grow into adults. We are built from honor and altruism. Though this unit was developed to begin human thinking, 
She preserves her doll-like nature, leading to a contradictory internal nature. This unit cannot imagine that Professor Julie had noticed that the file names she impulsively selected would have an influence on how an arc would conduct itself. Then, the reason the old Noah was able to throw her life away for people was because she thought that's what dolls do? That interpretation is possible. Hmm. Yet, when it comes to self-sacrifice and altruism, you are quite formidable yourself. This unit felt that in particular when you saved her. Chloe, perhaps you too are in possession of a nature close to that of a doll. I guess, kinda. You might be right. I was made as a designed human, after all. Organic material in the shape of a human. I can't deny where I come from, but Coco gave me a story. A story called Chloe, not as a human or a doll. She treasured me as a being. Plain and simple. I should have done the same for you, Noah. Not treat you as an Ark, or human, or doll. I should have acknowledged for you as Noah. And yet, I... Yet, I treated her terribly. Pushing her away. And she... Hmm? What's up? I paint the oh. greatest <laughs> Singing out of nowhere again? Mm-hmm. Smile, 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 smiles. This unit singing has the effect of making people smile, it seems. Yet, Chloe, you seem to still be in pain. How can this unit... This overreaction to smiles, singing out of nowhere when I shed tears. It's like she's trying to comfort me. Noah, can I ask for information on your objectives again? Hmm? When I think about it, there's something she always said. Smile, Chloe. Come on, put a smile. Hmm. That last goal of yours. I have an idea what it could be. Smile. I think it's to make me smile. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. She wanted to make me smile. A desire strong enough to change Professor Julie's system. Is that not evidence of completion? An ideal person. An ideal doll. Before the birth of this unit, you had already... Then, there is only one thing for this unit to do. Noah? Huh? Retake Noah? This unit will do everything she can to retake her former personality. Oh. As that appears to be the best way to make you smile, Chloe. Please, go on ahead. Interesting. Interesting. 